and welcome to Wake Up America. Few would argue that Washington has focused heavily on the topic of immigration over the last several years. Besides the Latino vote carrying more weight in elections, there is also a concerted effort to preserve jobs in the United States for its own citizens. Most politicians understand the nation's state of employment is dire, and immediate action needs to be taken. Unfortunately, they are picking and choosing which problems they choose to view through this lens. The real issue with unemployment is not the workers illegally coming in, it's the jobs legally going out. To begin with, the majority of the positions being filled by illegal immigrants are not coveted by the average out-of-work American. These positions are typically low-paying, low-skill positions, and unfavorable working conditions. In a poverty-stricken nation, this may be incentive and compensation enough to support a family. But the American people are not crying out for these jobs as they simply exacerbate the less discussed problem of underemployment in the U.S. The real borders that are being threatened are the American shorelines, where ship after ship lines up every day with a never-ending supply of imported goods. These are foreign goods that the people of the United States have grown dependent on, as domestic manufacturing has all but moved abroad. This is where the average American truly loses out on a meaningful, substantial job. Thousands of viable careers have been outsourced during the era of free trade, and these are the jobs that support families and buy houses. The menial labor positions are being taken by illegal immigrants, pay minimum wage, or just above. This is still indicative of a problem, but it's certainly not the catalyst for the desolate American job market. Our leaders in Washington enjoy addressing political hot topics, but as much as our physical borders need protection, our precious industry needs it even worse. Thanks to unrestricted free trade, companies are encouraged to outsource labor and send goods back here duty and tariff free. This creates a massive void in the job market, and it's brought about a flood of foreign-made goods and merchandise on the shelves of every store. The concern that foreign workers are taking American jobs is justifiable but the ones actually taking them work overseas in treacherous conditions and we are sending them over there willingly. The United States deserves to have its borders protected. All of them. And the most crucial borders we have left unguarded are ones that protect domestic manufacturing. Trepidation that illegal immigration is going to sink the American job market is completely misdirected. But Washington always gravitates to that conversation while shying away from the perils of outsourcing. Much like gun control or any other mainstream political discussion, immigration gets the lion's share of attention from the media as well. Unfortunately, there is no electric fence that will keep American industry from moving overseas. That will require a change in policy and potentially a change in leadership. To learn more about the disastrous effects of free trade, log on to economyincrisis.org.